In this video, I'll walk through the gradebook settings available in the Ultra gradebook. So right now I'm in the uh, Ultra gradebook. And if I go to the top right hand corner, I can see the gear icon, which is how you access the gradebook settings. When I click on that, I can see all my options here, including grade schemas, student performance warnings, automatic zeros, overall grade settings, grade categories, course rubrics, and the overall grade notations. So I'll walk through each of these quickly. Uh, the grade schemas are how letter grades are assigned according to the percentage that students earn. So if I click on that current grading schema, which the default is going to be AUM's grading schema, I can edit those grade values and grade ranges here. So it does look a little tricky because you can only uh, edit the lower limit, but once you click save, the upper limits will automatically populate. I can delete uh, different grade letters if they're not used, for example, maybe I don't need B plus, and I can edit these. So let's say from, let's see, 87 to 94 is going to be a minus, and I can click Save. OK, going back to the settings, I also have um, options for receiving alerts about student activity. So whether that be days of inactivity or if percentage grades fall below a certain amount, I can send these activity stream alerts to students. Another option is to turn on or off automatic zeros for past due work. So this is on by default. If you would like to turn that off, you can go into the gradebook settings and uncheck or check that box. You'll notice when I did click that, it asked me if I wanted to assign zeros to past due work. So you can either assign zeros or cancel there. You can also edit your overall grade settings here, which I covered in a previous video. Um, here you can create or delete new categories. So there are some categories created by default, like assignments, tests, discussions, journals, et cetera. Uh, but you can create new categories if you have one specific to your course. In this course, we have reflection journals, surveys, blogs. So you can create those. And those will be assigned when you create new activities or items in the gradebook. So you, there'll be a drop down menu, and you can select which category your new item belongs to. You can also create course rubrics here. So here's a sample rubric. And you can edit uh, the different criteria. And lastly, you have an option to change overall grade notations. This is not a very common option, but if you have something that doesn't fit into that letter schema, you can add a separate notation here. 